Hello and welcome to your Wednesday One Show with Alex Jones. And Jermaine Genius. And our favourite bird-watching duo, Ollie and Nadim, have been out and about on another adventure and find out what they spotted the when they headed to Rutland Waters in the East Midlands. You're not going to want to miss this one, I'm telling you. No. Play uh, now, over the past year, keen bird watchers Oli Alani Peckham and Nadine Pereira have bonded over their shared love of bird watching. Yes, we know you've loved getting to know them too. So we sent them to Rutland Water on the lookout for the local osprey, and what they managed to spot is truly breathtaking. Have a look. The magnificent osprey, with its one and a half meter wingspan and powerful talons, it's a huge fish-eating bird of prey. We're Ollie and Nadim. And today we've come to Rutland Water Reserve to get our first ever look at this mighty bird. Yes, it's been at the top of our wish list for the longest time and we've heard that they've been breeding out there. So we're hoping to see some hatchlings. Rutland Water is a vast reserve in the East Midlands and is home to a 25 year osprey conservation project. Ken Davis has been a part of this project since the beginning. I think seeing an osprey dive is one of the UK wildlife experiences which you never forget. Oh, Absolutely. We've got to see I'm, it. Ken. I'm building it up now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are. But the ospreys weren't always here, were they? The reserve came first, and the osprey soon put in an appearance uh, on migration. They'd stay here, eat a few Rutland fish, <laughs> and then on yeah. they'd go to Scotland or even further north. Wow. In 1996, Ken and the team began moving chicks from nests in Scotland and releasing them here to create a breeding population. It was one chick, and now here we are all those years later, and I think we're up to about 188 chicks wow. now have been born. There are currently 10 breeding pairs of osprey at Rutland. Most of the nests are hidden, but one in the middle of the reservoir has a camera on it filming the nest 24-7. Monitoring all the action is Information Officer Abby. So this clip here is um, when the first chick catched. It was really, really exciting. Amazing. Currently got the breeding female Maya on the nest, mm -hmm. and this year she's got two chicks. To get a closer look at this pair, we're headed out into the reserve. It's mad to think, though, bro, like, this bird has come all the way from Africa, like, some three, 4,000 kilometres. It's incredible. We've got the female feeding the young. I think she's got two in there. She's so gentle, to be fair. For a killing machine. Yes. Yeah. She's, she's being pretty soft right now. She's, oh, look, she's off. She's off. What's this? Oh, wow. She's dunking her what? feet across the surface of the water. And Whoa. again. Whoa. What's that like? What, cleaning? Yeah, the so, talons. Yeah, so all the oil, oil from the fish and the scales, and general grub, she just cleans it off. Really, really nice. And it looks like the male has returned from the hunt with an offering. What's that? And he's, he's got something. In he's his... got a really big stick. And Maya does not look impressed. She is not happy with him. Not at all. She's disappointed. Where's the fish? <laughs> big man, bring the fish. <laughs> bring the fish, big man, not sticks. With daylight running out, pressure is on for the male to deliver. And we really want to see the dive Ken told us about. So we're heading out onto the reservoir to get a closer look. Can you swim? Yeah, of course I can swim. Can you? <laughs> no, you can't <laughs> swim, can you? <laughs> There we go. This is brilliant. As we approach the nest... I got, got it. It looks like we're just in time. It's searching for something. This might, this might be it. Hover, hover, hover. There it goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Here we go! Yes! Yes! yes. Oh, he's got it as well. What? I cannot what? believe you've just seen that. Ah. I cannot oh, believe... Amazing. I knew he wouldn't let us down. He could not come back without that fish today. He had to. He had to. Put it there. Come on. Another day, another beautiful experience. Absolutely, man. Yeah, we came, we saw the ospreys delivered. Absolutely. 
Well, it's like Christmas has come early for the Ospreys, <laughs> isn't it? It was lovely, wasn't it? That's yeah, I mean, he messed up putting the twig on the chick, but then he, he came into up. his own. He came good, he delivered did. the fish. There delivered you the go. Fish. And Ollie and Nadim have also now launched the Flock Together Academy for younger enthusiasts too, which is brilliant news, isn't it? 